you're not going to ever know the ocean if you're not in it all the time. Everything sounds different. Gravity is different. I can literally feel that I am in another world. It can feel so uncomfortable that it really makes me feel alive. Everything can just surrender to this being of liquid energy that has known me my whole life. It is so empowering, and especially now as a mom, that with this simple spear in my own two hands, I can go on a hunt and come back with food to feed my little one. Like, there is no better feeling than that. But after becoming a mom, life changes immensely. I'm Kimmy Warner. I am a spearfisher woman, a mom, and I love to cook what I catch. So you see in this one, I see so many different colors. Hawaii has always been and will always be my home. I grew up in this rainy, rainy little town called Haiku on Maui. We lived in a little shack, and I mean, the shack was, it looked like it could fall apart at any moment. My parents didn't have much money, but where we lived, with a stream in the back and plants and trees that grew food and the ocean as our front yard, was everything we needed. When I was about four years old, that was when I was introduced to the underwater world. My dad would go spearfishing. He would do it to put food on the table, and he let me tag along. I didn't know that not everyone was feeling this amazing connection to nature, getting to visit these other worlds of like underwater bliss. It was just magic to me. You were riding a bike and you fell off the bike. <laughs> the most gentle <laughs> Buddy is a crazy person. Buddy is energy. Buddy is just non-stop energy. He loves food, that's for sure. He loves the ocean. Buddy is definitely a tag along in the same way that I was a tag along to my dad. Okay, smile at the camera. Which one do you want? Okay. Yeah. Motherhood is something that I intentionally put off for as long as I could. Because as much as I wanted to, I also just felt like it would be this expiration date of my goals and dreams. I think it was cool in a way because it made me push my goals that much more because I wasn't sure if it was all going to come to an end. I found myself like, living out this underwater bucket list. Everything from fish I wanted to hunt to swimming with great white sharks or swimming with killer whales. All of these things just kind of got more and more extreme and I just started pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. One day, I just felt actually satiated. And I feel ready now to spend some time at home and try this motherhood thing. Very shortly after that, I was pregnant. You lose a lot of freedom. You lose a lot of flexibility. What you're given in return you have this newfound sense of passion watching this little human pick up a seashell for the first time or put his toes in the ocean for the first time. You get to relive that magic. Everyday life becomes an adventure. And with that being said though, I fight for my right <laughs> to chase my own adventure. Buddy had a fever of 102, so I just had to hold him all night. Literally did not get any sleep. 
like nothing. But we're gonna go diving today and it's crazy because I'm just so grateful for any moment to go diving. Kimmy, you brought breakfast and lunch for us too, right? <laughs> You're asking for it. You are pushing it. I became aware of Protect from the beginning because Mark Healy is one of my best friends. So I thought like, ooh, like, I hope you do well, but supplements aren't really my thing. Like, food has all the things I'll ever need. But knowing that I'm gonna be out in the ocean for five to six hours straight, anything that gets me hydrated ahead of time is so key. I became very hooked. My husband, Justin, started teasing me. And he's like, you like those things, don't you? Without even thinking, I just said, the more you drink, the better you dive. So hydration is what made me fall in love with Protect. People will say things like, wow, you just conquered the ocean, or you're fearless. It's like, no, never did, never want to. I am here in the ocean with the absolute understanding that I'm not in charge. Current is probably one of the most dangerous elements of diving, way more than sharks or anything like that. The ocean, it can humble you in ways that are so real and so gnarly. There's no choice but to be absolutely present. I am taking this harvest with such a weight of responsibility. There's such a connection to these living, beautiful beings that I got to witness in their own natural environment. I got to live there with them. Obviously, this is not the most efficient way to catch fish. To have to like hold your breath, swim to the bottom, take a shot, maybe miss, do it again and get one fish to bring home for your family. It is extra work, but it's an extra payoff. Knowing your connection to your most basic necessities in life is knowing yourself. Spearfishing absolutely revitalized my passion for cooking. There's such a weight of responsibility when you choose to pull that trigger. It's not just food, it's gold. Sustainability is such a buzzword these days. Everyone thinks they know what it means and none of us really do. We are humans, as long as we live here, we all have footprints. Let's just try not to make this a muddy freaking mess. Knowing that we absolutely depend on nature and we are nature, we're not separate from it. And I think sometimes when things get a little too convenient, it's like that's the first thing you forget. But what's so interesting about being self-sufficient is then the next step is to share. My food is my love that I give to the people that I love the most. And just really hope that it can nourish people on multiple levels. If I were to go back and talk to myself about any of my worries about becoming a mom, I would say it is hard, it is messy, but what adventure isn't? I think that's what Buddy teaches me is the moments that mean the most to me aren't the ones that come easy. I can't imagine going back and being fulfilled anymore. I hope that through teaching him this connection and this belonging with nature, long after I'm gone, he'll be able to put his face in the ocean and feel a sense of belonging. To always feel like he's a part of something bigger. When I give myself time in the ocean, doing what I love, it elevates every part of my being.
living life at depth and staying away from the surface is where I feel the most happy. Immersing myself into these moments of life on a deeper level, where living in truth, that's where I feel the most meaning. If I'm gonna do something, I wanna do it with heart.